Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and I'm back with more Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toys. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Such Omimus. This thing. Yeah, it's really, it's actually really cool. One of the action attack dinosaurs. It does not have electronics, so it's not going to roar at us. But he does have some cool features. Again, this is, it's, it's Jurassic World. So let's take a look at the outside of this box. We're going to do things a little bit different. Honestly, because the camera on my phone is broken and it makes weird footage. So we're doing things a little bit different for right now. So hopefully this works out pretty well. All right, let's take a look at the outside of this box here. There we go. We got the Suchomimus. Can't see everything going on. We got our buddy cop. We got blue. We got the volcano. Anything cool on the sides? Anything? Jurassic World logo. What do we got? Oh, look, check it out. It's the Jurassic Facts app. That's a really cool app they got there. We got pictures that says Sucho Mimus. Massive chomping action. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, anything else? Nothing else on the side. You know what I'm seeing, though. Look at that. Right there. Zero to three sad babies. Approve of this toy. Guys, I like this thing. Hopefully those close-ups worked out pretty well. But look, you kind of, like I said before, you can see him. Look at that movement. Look at that movement in the box. It This... It looks really good. I actually really, really like the look of this toy. But again, I did mention the Jurassic Facts app. So if you guys uh, download that app, you can scan the little thing on the bottom of his foot and it'll unlock a digital version of him. And there's also like really cool dinosaur trivia. I guess I should say her since they were all inherently female, huh? I make that mistake a lot on here. Either way, let's get this thing open. Now guys, as I do the opening, I like to mention, there's always an Amazon affiliate link um, somewhere, even if it's not to this specific toy, it will be towards something. And the reason I put those affiliate links is because they're an easy way to support the channel if you're an Amazon shopper. If you guys like the content that I'm putting out and shop on Amazon, want a nice, easy way to thank me, do your normal Amazon shopping, whatever you normally buy. Um, start out on my links and I get a small commission. You don't pay anything extra, but I get a couple pennies here and there. And that goes to fuel the channel so I can afford all the stuff like this to review for you guys and keep the new content fresh and coming. So, I, <laughs> I like this guy a lot. Okay, so we've got some really cool articulation here. So his arms move, they swivel, they rotate out. They're a little gummy. They're a little gummy and I like them. I think this is, this is nice. Uh, the legs do move out just a little bit, but then they also can rotate. <laughs> They have little clicks to them though, so you can like set them up. Okay, I like that. I like where this is going. This is nice. And again, you have our action feature. I love that bite. That bite is really cool. See it from all angles there. That's that's nice. I like the way this thing works. It's really, really nice. Uh, he does stand up really well. The tail does move a little bit. It rotates actually almost all the way around. Uh, and it does move left and right just a little bit within that. So you get a little bit of posability on the tail. I like that this guy looks like a Spinosaurus almost. And just that head movement. They really, really nailed down this head movement. Let's look at that slow, creeping head movement. Look at that, just the way it like... This is gorgeous. Just take a look at that up close. Look at that. Look at that gorgeous head movement. But I mean, the sculpt overall is really nice. Here's something for you guys. You guys are going to want to see this. There you go, that's what you need, is that, that little symbol right there. Go ahead and just click on that. Just pause the video, go scan that in your app. Boom. All right guys, now I'm gonna actually set him up back here. We're gonna take a look at some close-ups and we'll just see how he looks in the diorama. All right guys, you can see him here in the environment, or her I should say. The Suchomimus looks really, really, really cool. In fact, against that backdrop, I've added some stuff to the backdrop if you couldn't tell, there's more. Pterosaur, some Demorphodons, I put a sticker even. But yeah, look at that, in the environment, the Sucho looks perfect, looks great. I like the look. Let's see if I can get maybe a, maybe a bite action going. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's a little wobbly, right? A little wobbly. But just overall, that head movement looks really cool. Looks awesome in the diorama. I am definitely liking what I'm seeing here. Again, you can see in those close-ups, like, look at that. You can definitely see the difference in color. You can see those paint apps. They look great. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff. Oh, I left a Stygie back there. Who else is hiding back there? I think there's still a Raptor. We got the Command Compound. This thing is coming along quite nice. Oh, look, even Blue's hanging out. Yeah, there's a lot going on back there. Look at those guys. They're up to no good. But the Sucho is looking 
Awesome. All right, guys. I, I like this toy. I kind of wish it was electronic, but given that I believe he's a marine animal, I believe the Suchomimus is a marine animal, you'd put him in water. So I can see why maybe they wouldn't, because he's got the kind of like the Spinosaurus action, even though he wasn't necessarily a water animal. But still, I think he's going to look good in the water. He almost has a little bit of a webbed feet action going on. The ankles rotate. I didn't mention that before because I just literally found out. The ankles rotate, so that means you can position him a little bit better in places. Um, for me, this is a thumbs up. If you can find this thing, thumbs up. They, for a little while, were harder to find in stores. Targets, Walmart didn't have them for a while. Now they're basically everywhere, but I do see reports on Facebook that some people are still having a little bit of trouble. So again, he is on Amazon. Sometimes the stuff on Amazon is overpriced, so I don't always recommend buying through there. But again, if you do regular shopping, that's why the links are there. Either way, I would say add this guy to your collection. It gets a huge, huge thumbs up for me. But at the end of the day, I want to know your thoughts. This is about me and it's about you. Because you guys, the community, the sad baby squad, you guys are just as important as I am. So I want to know your thoughts. Is this a thumbs up dinosaur? Is it a thumbs down dinosaur? Which one is it? Huh? It, it? Depending on which one you pick. You pick thumbs up or you pick thumbs down. You click down below, you rated the video. Leave a comment down below telling me what you like about this or what you don't like about this. Do you, do you think he's weird? He's like all crazy looking because he's blue? He is a weird colored dinosaur, I'll admit it. He's a weird, little weird looking. But the paint applications on him look really good. I mean, I, I mean, they're not like over the top good, but his legs are a little bit darker blue and they get darker towards the bottom. He's got a nice blue in the middle. He's, I, I think he looks gorgeous. The sculpt's gorgeous. The bite feature looks nice. Great sculpt. To me, it's a thumbs up, but I want to know your thoughts because they're always more important. If you haven't already done so, hit that little subscribe button. It's going to be up or down. I don't know where anymore because I've changed things up in the videos. But subscribe and also, you know, take a little dinosaur swipe against that uh, little notification bell. That way you guys get notified every time I put out a brand new video. Now, those of you who show up to all the videos, you guys are pretty much positive parts of the community. Tell me what you want to see next. What I've said wrong. For real, I like it when you guys correct me. It's actually really nice. Uh, or give me cool video ideas. I want to feature you in the vids if possible. So if you have anything, any video clips, your own collections, pictures, drawings, whatever, that you want to be featured in the video, use hashtag SadBabySquad or at me on Twitter and Instagram at DanoFlores. And I want to put you guys in the vids if possible. So again, it's all about you guys. So thank you so much for watching. You know I love you. Until next time. What should I do next? I've got a lot. Of, you know what? We're not even done. What should I do next? I want to know what video you guys want to see next. I'm going to unbox most of them right now in one sitting, but depending on what you guys want to see me release next, that's that's what I'm going to give you a little preview. So how about that? We've got the uh, Stigimolox Stiggy and a Mercenary pack. I've got Dilophosaurus and Dimorphodon pack. I may or may not even do a video on that because I've already done them separately. Um, we've got some new attack packs. I've got Proceratosaurus, Minmi, and a protoceratops there's a lot of good stuff here uh, what else have i not done the regular just attack pack stiggy the new oop, drop something does that count the new uh, demorphodon with a different color scheme i've got a herrerasaurus with a different color scheme this one's not battle damage uh velociraptor the weird kind of creepy one there's a lot of stuff and get this that's not even all there's more i've got check it down here We've got the uh, Grab and Growl Indoraptor. He's really cool. He does some cool things. He lights up. Um, we've got so much, in fact. There's even new Roarivores. Did I mention the new Roarivores? we got Ceratosaurus. We've got a really cool Pteranodon, which you might even see him back behind me. Maybe, maybe not. Um, we also have the Ankylosaurus. Looks really cool. And that's just the dinosaurs get my squeaky chair everywhere i've got four human figures that i need to review i've got claire with stegosaurus i found Maisie, so that's coming up soon um we got wheatley which i've had for a little while never opened and then i've got lockwood battle owen so again i want to know of all those things i just listed and I know there's quite a bit you know there's even something down here at my feet that i almost forgot about i picked this up the other day the off-road rescue rig lights up and stuff okay so like i said there's a lot of cool jurassic content coming i'm gonna record a bunch of this stuff tonight but you guys are gonna help me determine when they come out and what order they come out and i want to know your thoughts what do you want to see next so i'm gonna ask that in all the videos going forward what do you guys want to see next hmm. 
That thing's still making noise down there. It's loud. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts on the toy. Let me know what you want to see next. And until next time, hold on to your butts. I gotta, I gotta do it right. I gotta hold on to his butt. And goodbye forever. Now, just because today's video's over doesn't mean the fun has to stop. Be sure to click on one of these videos or playlists and keep it going. I put out new videos every week. We've got Star Wars content, lightsabers, lots of dinosaurs on the way. So make sure you're subscribed and hit that little notification bell. And if you can, share one of the vids. It's a great way to support the channel and it's much appreciated.